we're going to go through a really simple drill called one shape one miss and i think one of the biggest issues that i see with golfers is they don't have a pre-decided shape in their head that they want to hit i almost always ask golfers you know one of the first questions is what shape do you want to hit and they almost always say straight and the problem with straight is you can almost only fail you know any kind of variance in the face or path and the ball is going to move in the air so you can't successfully hit a dead straight shot all the time whereas if we're a bit more focused on hitting a, a small draw or a small fade it becomes very easy to kind of get things right and get things moving in the right order now while we have a lot of technology available to us to give us that information really all we need is two alignment sticks we're going to put one here just on the ground and that's going to be pointing pretty much in line with our ball's target line and then i've got another one six or seven yards in front of me and that's on our ball to target line so effectively between the ball and that stick if i continue through that it would hit our target now the objective here is to kind of create or develop the skill of understanding your path and your shape so what we're going to try and do is shape the ball around the stick as if it were a tree now the one cue that i want to give you is i don't want you to aim to do this so what i see a lot of people doing if i ask them to fade they'll aim way up the left open the face and actually sometimes what they end up hitting is a, a real push fade and it doesn't necessarily help them understand path much. So we're gonna try and do all of these shots from a square stance. So to begin with, all we wanna do is just get the shape right. So example would be if I'm standing here and I wanna hit a fade, I'm gonna try and feel as if the club is gonna go out to in on the way through that golf ball. And that should at least give me a ball flight that's likely to start left and curve right if I can keep the face slightly open to that path. Now to begin, I don't care if it's a five yard left start line or a 50 yard left start line, but to hit a fade, I must have the ball starting left. Vice versa, to hit a draw, if a draw is the shot that I wanna play, I wanna have the club coming as far inside as possible, send it outside and then allow the face to kind of close over as it comes through the shot. So again, if it's a draw, I don't care how far right it has to start, it just has to start to the right. So let's start with just a simple fade to begin. So I'm gonna go into setup, I'm gonna feel in my head a little exaggeration of that fade. And what I'm looking to see the ball do is start left of the target and curve to the right. So let's give that a go. So we can see there, nice little left right curve on it. Now for me, that's the harder shot to hit. So one of the things for me there is when I'm practicing that shot, that actually helps me manage my bad shot a lot. My bad shot would be a bit more inside and I'd hook the ball over. So for me, practicing fades, even if I don't intentionally hit one on the course, it helps me understand how much I need to move the path to bring it back closer to neutral. So I can stand there and just keep hitting fade, fade, fade. And then eventually what I want to do is start to make it more difficult. So instead of just looking at the shape, I also want to look at the finish. So I can pick a target out in the distance and say, okay, I now want the ball to fade and it's got to finish within that target. And once I start doing that, then we're really starting to get into a lot more of the playing side because we've obviously got an outcome. And there's a couple of games we can play here. We can either do one where we have 10 or 20 balls and we want to see how many we can hit with the correct shape that finish inside that target or we can do it where we want to see how many in a row we can get. So all that means is that if we're standing up and I'm trying to hit fades, the ball has to start left, curve right, and finish inside the target. How many times, let's say, out of 20 balls can we do that successfully? So let's give that one more go. So again, the ball has to start left of the target and curve to the right. So we can see there, started left, not quite as much curve to the right on that. But to me, that would probably be the better miss. If I'm hitting a fade, I'd rather hit a small pull as my miss. If I'm hitting a draw, a small push. So ultimately, what we're trying to get into here is that we're playing one shape consistently. And in line with that, we've also got one miss consistently. And by doing that, we end up with a really manageable way to play the golf course, because we know exactly what flags we can take on, and we know what flag we may need to be more conservative on but it's a great way for you to understand and move your path around and also make changes to your swing that aren't necessarily really technically based, but actually help you on the golf course in the course of play.